like for you to come out with it and buy it and support you. But that one's on my shelf. It's saying there. Look, it's I hanging. could give you like a no, 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 no. <laughs> it's like a baggie. I want you to try it. I could give I'll you a try scoop. It. Yeah, I'll yeah. Try a scoop later. But I'm not gonna. <laughs> the punch is like try it right, right now. Right. Okay. I'm gonna buy it. I want to support my people. That's Thanks. it. You're a pro. It's gonna be worth money someday. I'm saving that Thank one. Thank you. Well, <laughs> talk about buying stuff. I only have two right now, but this one's for Grant and this one's for me. But oh no. You could try some oh, of mine if you want. Rice Krispie treats. Oh, oh, you're revealing. Let's. Yeah. So uh, you gotta open this bitch. We have Rice Krispie treats. I have Rice Krispie treats dropping. I don't have like a set date yet, but they're in the works. They're really fucking good. Uh, the macros on it right now: two grams of fat, 40 grams of carbs, 11 grams of protein. So it is a perfect pre-workout snack. Wait, they they put what? protein in it? Yeah, 11 grams. Vanilla so, protein? Yeah. Uh, secret. <laughs> oh, he's. Sneaky bastard. But uh, these are gonna be dropping hopefully by October, November-ish. So um, yeah, I'm super excited Yo. for these. But we're gonna rip one of these. Uh, yes. Grant's gonna do a taste test. Yes. I already tried it. Um, but we can do another taste test for that. But we also are gonna rip some sour as fuck today. And we are gonna hit some back. And it's gonna be a great fucking lift. Bro, I'm so, so. ready for T-Bar Rose. Man. So. Wow. Oh my god. Dude, this... Oh, dude, it looks insane. You like... gotta do like a... Like a... Yeah. Yeah. But here's... Actually, you know what we're gonna do? Just because there's no vignetting, we're just gonna... That looks funny. Yeah, that looks... That looks delicious. Oh, it smells amazing. Alright, I need a honest 1 out of 10 review. <laughs> I could just only imagine how I would have reacted if I was on prep and I ate this. Oh like, my gosh, yeah, I know. Off season mode, this still feels a map. Like, this is this tastes insane. See, I like my favorite thing about it is that we use like all like healthy ingredients and shit. So there's basically no bullshit in here. When you eat like a regular rice crispy treat, you kind of get like overloaded with like that sugary, like whatever it is. But this, it's like, it's not oversweet, right? Like, oh, I think perfect. it's like, like the perfect amount. Bro. Like that's biased because it's mine, but like. No, but here's the thing. What you can do? Cut this in half. Take a piece of Lily's dark chocolate because that's like one of the healthier brands. Get oh, a clam cracker. I didn't tell you about the next ones. <laughs> All right, I'm out. All right, so this this is literally just like the basic flavor that we made. Um, I was gonna make. I was gonna say make the inverted s'mores. Okay, so I'm not gonna tell you guys yet. I'm gonna tell Grant, but we have three new flavors that are potentials and then another product on top of that. So, Wait, shh. <laughs> of course. All right, so I got needling done, uh, like dry needling yesterday. And <clears throat> my guy, Dr. J Hart, He's like, he knows fucking everything about everything. And he especially knows everything about stretching and mobilization, that kind of thing. And he showed me a really good stretch for the lats that I want to show you guys because I tried it yesterday and my shit is loose as fuck now. That's what she said. <laughs> so I'm going to do it again right before back day. I'm going to show it to Grant because he's always tight as fuck. And uh, I'm sure you guys are going to love it as well. So let's go try it out. So literally all you gotta do is fucking get the band, then attach it to anything that's not gonna move. So we're gonna use this guy right here. Uh, pretty much just like hook in there, stretch some shit out, and then toss the leg that's like on the side that you're stretching the ladder, toss it to the side. Oh my god. You gotta stretch all the way down to like the bottom of your lat. And doing this, you're gonna literally feel where your lat starts and where your lat ends. Oh fuck. Yeah, oh but it feels so good. And it loosens up fucking everything. Um, so before back day, it's really nice. <laughs> super loose, super nice. So. Definitely try that. Start fucking stretching more. Feels really good. 
Are you doing that too? What's that? Are we doing that? Super setting. Oh. Well, I didn't get the memo, but <laughs> apparently we're super setting with uh, lap pull downs. This is your lats are gonna be fucking pumped for rows. Yeah. Back's feeling really good today, which is like a really rare occurrence lately, because my uh, whole right side's like fucked up, my shoulder's fucked up. That's why I keep getting the dry needling, so it's helping. j Hart is the go, I'm telling you. <laughs> Lightweight fucks you up. It was really good. Uh, for this, I don't know. You trying to go heavy with this thing? All right. Like a solid just eight to couple, ten reps. Yeah, trying to do like a couple of feeder sets. Like just did like two for what six reps. I think top set's gonna be like three by eight, something like that. Probably about three plates. On that last set, we're gonna do a stupid drop set. That's gonna completely fry the back, but it's a great way to start the workout. Our last set dropped it down to two and a quarter. I just did my set and I'm waiting about 15 seconds. I'm gonna do the same weight to failure, and we're gonna strip a plate, do one and a quarter to failure, and that's gonna be the end for T bar rows. And I'm out of time, <laughs> so I'm jumping back in. We popped over to some close grip pull downs. Probably gonna run this for about the same thing as we did with the T bar, like a three by eight, something like that. Nice fat drop set. And uh, we're just gonna enjoy the stretch here. So, close grip is always fun. Prime row time? Nah, that felt really good. I'm gonna do one more of those. You son of a bitch. <laughs> but I gotta tell him what just happened. <laughs> so this guy comes up to Grant and he's like, You Asian? And I was like, No, nah, I'm black. <laughs> Which is the funniest thing, bro. Let's crack it up. Hurts. Hurts a lot. Some nice fellows over there and they had Rice Krispie treats in their bags. And they started munching them mid-workout. I'm literally just thinking to myself, a couple months, that's gonna be Bond Streets in everybody's gym bag. And it got me super fucking motivated uh, just for fucking everything. So 
I am extremely, extremely excited and hype right now. How do I feel? Streets coming near you, baby. Yes, sir. Code one. How do I feel? Easy. All right. So for this, probably gonna work up to like four plates on the prime, and then. Uh, Honestly, I'll start doing. Yeah, I might just go to failure every set and just like absolutely demolish my back. Yeah. So it's the end of the workout. Might as well finish with a bang. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, felt light. Right? Four plates today. Go that little thing? Yeah. yeah. Damn, I feel like you've never shown the YouTubers, the YouTube fam, deadlift? your deadlifting. I haven't deadlifted in like. Since like what? Killing? Five years, bro. Since like Killing? Yeah. yeah. So. Bro, I remember one of the first times I ever. Went to Tilton, you were there, but I didn't get to meet you because I was leaving while you were coming in. Oh fuck. And you were doing fucking I could just see your I could just see you from the like behind. See you me were, from afar. Yeah, you were squatting in that um in the squat rack right before that little like cubby where the dumbbells oh, okay. are. And then then I like went to the bathroom and I come out, you're not there. You're doing in the you know that like turf room? Oh yeah, yeah. You're doing fucking walking lunges with one thirty five on your back. I'm like, what the fuck is this kid? So that was I was in Tilton, which was like my first gym that I ever joined. And just give me like a time frame. That was probably like five or six years ago when I did join. So um, that was pre-Grant. We didn't really know each other then. Yeah. So. Why was I even there? Oh, I was there training with Nick. And like. Bro, just thinking about that place. In that was like crazy. Bro, that yeah. gym too, like. That's where it all started from. Like, Tilton Fitness. That gym sucked. The gym was ass, but... <laughs> it got the job done. Yeah. They had no Honestly, action. It was the best gym, like, in the area. It was. At but the time. At the time, and then yeah. And Illis. Uh, Attilis popped out of nowhere. That was, like, the OG forever. this bro this machine never fails mm. the contraction on that is just like i ended up only doing the four plates with a quarter for one set and i just dropped ugly. it to two and a quarter just squeezed the fucking my back and actually flexed uh the muscle with like every rep with like a slow negative that tears of the court oh, nice. but time to deadlift Scared. Oh, that shit looks clean as a fucking what? I swear to God, bro. I don't know how I feel about it, bro. Like, what the fuck is this shit? You do a movement that you haven't tried in five years and your form is still impeccable. <laughs> like... Honestly, I just feel like all my glutes, I don't even feel my back. Oh, okay, so... Like, so. I fucking it up? Alright, so we need a deadlift specialist yes. on the channel, so... Chris Bump said. Yeah. Chris? Help. We need another video soon. <laughs> teaching the folks and myself how to deadlift. I need to learn how to fucking squat, too, so... Please and thank you. Yes today at two it's currently one o'clock so we have to run over like just like basic stuff of what we want on the brace crisp the, the blah, 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 that's three uh the rice crispy wrapper and the box design so really exciting but it's kind of work out short so but i mean we we're not coming back at... a little later i don't know about that i'm kind of happy i'm, I'm kind of yeah i don't know my back's fucking fried though so great lift um not gonna lie the rice crispy and the pre-workout fucking 
nailed it on the head. Great pump. Um, wish I could show you guys some current physique <laughs> updates, but uh, I am feeling a little fat right now. But the pump was juicy as fuck. Uh, I can tell you that. But I believe we're going to do Q&A mm -hmm. later tonight. So mm -hmm. it should be fun. And I'll see you guys then. All right, so Grant got me the sign for my birthday. Um, it's a bladed present, but better late than never. Code Vaughn. Code Vaughn. Bro. But we're tossing it up right now. Um, it's fucking huge, so it should take up the majority of that empty ass space. And then uh, that's going to be the first decoration of the apartment, pretty much. Besides, like, I have a little plant over there. But, yeah, it's pretty bland in here, so it's going to... It's gonna brighten everything up, um, especially because it's a sign. Dude, I think that's right. I'm so excited, bro. So we hung this sign up, but you can't see it because uh, it just doesn't fit in the frame. Grant's not here, so I had to set this shit up by myself. And uh, yeah, it's currently the next day. Drink some coffee and greens, which is still really hot. But I picked out a bunch of questions for the Q&A and they're pretty good. Um, I feel like a bunch of them are like shit that I've already done, so if I repeat questions, I apologize, but if I feel like it's a good question, I'm just gonna answer it again. So, how many glizzies can you take down in 10 minutes? I heard all 10 at once. Uh, <laughs> well, I can eat a lot of hot dogs. Probably, bro, if I was at like a barbecue, I could probably easily pound fucking five or six hot dogs, a couple of burgers, and I'll be solid with that. I don't know about all 10 at once. That sounds really sexual, I'm not about that. <laughs> How is your mental currently? Anything you're struggling with or working through? Right now, my mental is fucking amazing. And that's actually a huge surprise for me because after I came off the show, I knew that I was gonna put on a bunch of weight. And after you're really lean for a decent amount of time and then you just dump a whole bunch of weight on your frame, it kind of messes with your head. I feel like I was pretty good with my reverse and I didn't like, blow up too quick so I kind of just like gradually gained weight and kind of like ease myself back into like fat Vaughn. Currently sitting like 195 uh, which is like 15 pounds up from stage weight and I feel pretty good. Life's pretty good right now. Uh, I'm really happy with everything that's going on. Uh, everything like everything else is really good too so you know what? Drop in the comments. How is your mental? Let me know. If there's anything I can do just let me know. Dude, who are you seeing now? Or are you just playing the abundance of the field giving your superstar status? Um, not a superstar. I appreciate that though. Um, but yeah, I'm not a person that really like sleeps around or anything. So <laughs> um, Grant's calling me actually. So <laughs> we're gonna have to put that question on pause. I am mid Q&A right now. Uh, good, I should have it done in fucking like 10 minutes. No, I I like I tried to set it up, but it's like super. I couldn't fucking fit it. That was Grant, but 
Um, who is your biggest inspiration when you first started lifting consistently? Um, you guys know that I'm from New Jersey and I train at Attila's EHT a lot. Like that's my home gym. Uh, for you, I, I'm sure everybody watching this knows who David Late is, uh, Dylan McKenna, those guys. Um, they actually, they lived in that area and they trained at that same gym. So just growing up from like 16, 17, watching them lift in the gym, uh, it's really fucking motivating because uh, they were doing their thing. They were fucking, they blew up and I kind of just like, not that I wanted to follow in their footsteps, but I literally just wanted to be like them. So they were definitely uh, number one and number two of uh, my biggest lifting inspirations. This is a question that I've been getting so freaking much and I honestly don't know how to answer it. What's next Vaughn? To be honest, I don't really fucking know. Um, I'm doing little tiny things like at a time because I don't want to not like over stress myself with a whole bunch of shit, but I want to focus on one thing and just fucking make sure that I accomplish that and do really good with that one thing. So right now we are actually working on a Rice Krispie treat, which is super fucking exciting. We got samples made. If you guys have been watching the YouTube, I think I showed them like once or twice in previous videos. And they're really fucking good. Two grams of fat, 40 grams of carbs, and then 11 grams of protein. So it is literally a fucking perfect pre-workout snack. Hopefully gonna be the next big thing because we're, uh, we're really trying to get this right. And uh, fucking, we're all fucking excited about it. But in terms of competing off season, that kind of thing, probably gonna take about like two and a half to three years off just because I wanna put on a bunch of size and then the next time I step on stage, I definitely want to step on a classic stage. I Men's physique was fucking sick, got my card, all that jazz, but classic physique is um, where it's at for me. That's, that's where my heart's at. Protein powder or a protein rich diet? Obviously protein rich diet, but sometimes it's hard to get those meals in, so it's really easy to supplement with some kind of uh, protein powder such as raw protein dark chocolate or the Vegan chocolate from raw nutrition code Vaughn. It's really fucking good uh, Honestly, that's what I make uh, all my mug cakes with and for you guys that ask how do I make the mug cake? It's literally just protein a little bit of water in a mug and then toss it in the microwave for like 15 30 seconds And then just let it get a little hard. Uh, that's about it. Yeah, uh, protein powder is really good when you can't get uh, like an actual when you can't get a meal in um, Which has protein in it. So is there a program in the making? Yes, so I know that I told you guys that we we're gonna have a program We're gonna have a program a lot earlier, but I uh, ended up changing uh, The company that I was gonna partner with for the program and now I've decided that I'm going to be with Seabone Fitness so I believe late September early October around that time you're gonna see me on the Seabone Fitness app so stay tuned for that uh, it's gonna be really sick favorite person to work out with celebrity and friend I guess celebrity would be Chris just cuz it's fucking Chris and he's a great training partner he pushes me and uh, I try to push him as much as I can. So that's that. And then favorite friend to work out with, it either has to be obviously Grant or uh, my buddy Austin from back home. Um, great dude. I'm sure you guys are gonna meet him eventually. He's actually coming, uh, he's coming down pretty soon. So he's gonna be in some vlogs. Uh, Chris or Breon? Bruh, come on. <laughs> What are the off-season goals? Uh, I want to put on a bunch of mass on my legs and my shoulders and pretty much I just want to get big as fuck. Tired of being a skinny bitch. Yo, Vaughn, do you have any celebrity crushes? I mean, I am in love with fucking Jennifer Aniston, but that's about it. Like, I really have to think about that. When are you and Alex going to link up again? I just... I saw this and I had to fucking uh, just go over it just because everybody thinks that me and Alex have beef just because we don't hang out every fucking weekend like we used to. Uh, but there's no beef. Uh, he just lives in Maryland. I live in Florida. So 
it's like I can't just drive to his house anymore. But I'm probably going to link up with him um, going back to Jersey this month. So hopefully I'll see him uh, mid-August. So fairly soon. Favorite clothing brand? Young LA. Code Bond. What's the hardest thing to accept about yourself post-comp? Um, I kind of mentioned it already, but just gaining that weight that you lost is a... Uh, it's, it's like mentally taxing sometimes, but... Uh, you can't let it get to you that much. What is your biggest goal that you want to achieve in the next five years? I, I have a couple. Um, so number one priority is I want to build my business. And this, like the, like I mentioned, the Rice Krispie thing. I want to build my business. I want to build my business. I want to build my brand. And I pretty much just want to follow in the footsteps of Dom and Chris. They know what the fuck they're doing. And... Uh, Honestly, I just want to be like them. So, in terms of bodybuilding, I want to, I want to win a pro show, and then I want to step on Olympia stage. So, <laughs> damn, I got goosebumps saying that. But yeah, everybody's like recently, at least um, after like winning this past show, I've noticed that a lot of people were like, "Yeah, you have no chance on the Olympia stage," that kind of thing. And uh, I don't know, that's really fucking motivating for me to like just step on stage and do my best and if I win it could just be like a huge fuck you to them yeah I definitely want to build my business build my brand and then win pro show and then obviously um, you gotta set your dreams and your goals high so I also want to win a fucking Olympia that would be sick when are you dropping more clothes we are actually in the process of designing a bunch of new shirts a bunch of new merch we're also gonna do some pump covers some hoodies and yeah, uh, I'm really excited for that. Who do you want to collab with next? Emily Willis. Uh, well, I'm almost out of coffee. It's uh, what time is it? It's 10 o'clock. This video is going up at three. So I'm about to run this over to Grant, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Uh, drop a like, comment, sub, all that good stuff, and uh, let me know what you want to see next in the comments, or let me know who you want to see in the next video. So, thank you again, and until next time.